Hey, it's Jimmy, and right now I'm gonna show you another top feature that you should be trying out today in Pictory. All right, let's have a look at brand kits. These are a great way of streamlining your workflow and adding some consistency to your projects by letting you use your logo, your brand colors, and all sorts of other settings. Here's how you set them up. So from the dashboard, we're just gonna click on brand kits. I've already got two set up here, but let's create one from scratch by clicking on create a brand. So we'll start off by naming our brand with something super unique like my brand. Now you can upload a logo. You can actually upload several variations of your logo that you can switch for each project if you want. All right, now let's add some colors. If you know your hex code for your colors, you can paste in the hex code and press enter to add it. But I actually like to add the colors using the eyedropper tool. So I'll go to my logo here and I'll just start picking out the different colors that are within the logo. Okay, cool. Now I've got a decent color palette for my brand. Next up, you can select a font to be used for your captions. So you can choose something from Pictory's library, which has a lot of great options. Or if you've got your own font files, you can upload them here at the top of the font list. In fact, if you've got a font family that has multiple variations, you can upload a zip file and it will include all of those for you to be able to select for your brand kit. Once you've got all these settings, you just click on create. All right, so with the basics of my brand kit built, I can now kind of customize it so I can choose which one of these logo variations I'd like to use on the screen. I can also set which color I'd like to be my default caption text colors. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this orange one for now. You've got some other options available below, like you can add a custom asset to be an intro or an outro. So if I want the very beginning of every video to start with this logo, I can set it as an intro. But you could also do these with video files if you want. So you can have a video bumper at the beginning and another one at the end if you want. You can upload your own custom background tracks if you've got it, but you can also add from the library here. And similarly, you can add an AI voice to be your default voice. So if you find that you're often using the same voice for all of your projects, you can go ahead and set that as the default in your brand kit. So the next time you create a video, it'll use that AI voice to generate your voiceover.